And with that down, there's pretty much one more topic we we wanted to do. And I forgot to log in to, to do this. So forgive me for a second as I log in and we do a little update on the stock. Because yesterday you might have seen that little screenshot I posted where I had gained almost $900 in a day. Primarily due to the strength of a new stock I bought that day, Nikola Corporation. Now then, it wasn't just that one stock. Everything, with the exception of a couple of stocks, were up. Well, I wanted to give you an update today to let you know where it is now, a mistake that I made that cost me potentially hundreds of dollars. And I did also sell a, my holdings in a company. It's not going to be forever. It's not going to be for forever. It's temporary. It's just a common sense move from my perspective. I could be wrong, but I think I'm going to be right about it. And I want to be honest about it. So let's look. Remember, I gain, by the end of the day, I had gotten almost a $900 gain in the stock market. Where is it now? Oh, man. That's a... Ooh, let's go back to the week. That's a bit of a dip. See, this was where it was yesterday. And now here's where it is today. Now, it's my portfolio is still up a little over $600 for the whole week. So, you know, keep things in perspective. And a lot of it is because, yeah, Nikola, this uh, this stock did take a nosedive when the markets reopened. So, like, when the markets reopened, it was like, yeah, everything was going fine. It was high, but then it went down, down, down. Now, Am I terribly concerned about this just yet? No. Keep in mind, I bought it around, not there, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. I, that's around the time that I bought it. That's around the time that I bought it. So I'm still doing really, really well. And the fact that it went down and went up, there's still, there's definitely a sign that this thing could still be the real deal. And there's something you have to also keep in mind. Today, the entire market went down. The entire market went down. So most of these losses aren't even contributed to this one thing. This thing went down less than it went up yesterday. So I so compared on this stock I am still way ahead. But you'll notice down almost 2%, down 3.5%, down 0.50%, down 5.32%, down 2.21%, uh down almost 10 percent. Uh Papa John's is up uh, 4.12%. but th And look, this is the headline. Stocks pull back after a recent rally. So yesterday was a rally and everything did very, very well. And as a result, it was just going to fall a little today. In fact, Six Flags, it was like $28, $29 yesterday. Now it's $26.29. Um, Cinemark was over $20 yesterday. Now it's $18.20. Uh, V-Solar went up. But look, almost everything is down and... Hertz. Uh, I should have waited to buy Hertz today because um, that that was like a. It, I bought it at like five something. It went up to over six dollars yesterday, and now it's like a four thirteen. Bitcoin is going up though. Bitcoin is going up though. So as you can see, I took a little bit of a hit. Now the mistake that I made, and it was in the back of my mind to do this, by the way, was I was going to wake up at six a.m. like when the markets opened. And if this thing, and I was going to set my stop loss trigger because for those of you who wanted to know why I don't use the stop loss feature for the 30 day duration is that it doesn't work during after hours or before hours. So if I had, if I had said to sell like $85, if it went below $85 before the stock market opened, it wouldn't sell it. And let's say it got down to $70 and then the market opened, then it would sell. So I always do that till the end of the day. And if it goes below that stop loss, I just hope that it goes back up again. 
And for the most part, it did. I think I think this got as low as 60-something today. Yeah, it, it got down to $57. But if I had woken up on time and sold it, I could have rebought the shares at a much lower price at one point. And then I would have had a few hundred dollars to either buy extra shares or buy another company. I probably would have rebought some of my Disney stock at that point. So that's where I made a mistake. But again, I, I still I still did very well. And in fact, if you really want to know, this is a good indicator of whether or not you're ahead of the game or below the game. This option right here, total return. This is how much money you've either you know, gained overall or lost overall since you bought the stock. And as you can see, it's still a great return. Like, you can't complain too much about that. As you can see, a lot of things are down, but for the most part, I've done, I've gained more, uh, I've gained more from these stocks than I've lost. And in many of these cases, you just wait for them to go up a little bit, and those will be gains as well. Now, there is one company that I did sell today, and, I, and it's not a sell forever, it's a, it's a logical sell. But I sold AMC. I sold AMC and I profited about $15.20 on the sale. So that's, so I got more. I sold it, I got more. Now why would I do that? Well, AMC are reporting their earnings, the reports. Their earnings report was delayed because of the coronavirus. It was. So here's why I'm doing that. The earnings report, especially when it's going to come after hours, that ends up being a gamble. Most companies talk about their earnings report after hours because if there's news in there that investors do not like, the, the stock can totally drop. And they want to slow that as much as possible. It can also go way up if the news is good, but then they typically share that news before the market closes because, you know, they want people to buy the stock. I don't see any scenario where the numbers for AMC is good. I don't. So I anticipate this stock to take a nosedive tomorrow, or especially after the earnings report. So I decided, you know what? The shares are at a profit right now. I'm going to sell them. And once that dive comes... I will rebuy the same amount of shares for less money. And then I will have extra playing money to play around with. I will ultimately stick with AMC. I do think they will be fine. I think they will be fine in the long run, whether because they pull themselves out of it or because the movie studios help them out, which is another possibility. I think AMC will be okay. But I do believe the report is going to be ugly. And I even anticipate like maybe the dividends, which aren't much to begin with, it's like two cents a stock or something like that, will probably be cut because they have vir had virtually no money coming in. So I sold at $6.02 to protect my assets. And tomorrow, when it's down to like five twenty dollars or even four eighty nine, dollars whatever it ends up dropping to, I will rebuy the shares and I will have essentially get protected $100. So that's the change that I made. You, you go back three months, I'm still up $1,500 since we started this experiment. So, you know, positive, positives. 